Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. The International Energy Agency just issued a new report about reaching the net tw zero 2050 goals. And uh, it includes all kinds of behavioral changes that they want to impose upon you. Now, it sounds great because they had many, many different peer reviewers and consultants and they modeled all of these efforts to reach net zero by 2050. But we have a new report out called Speed Bumps on the Road to Decarbonization. And it's a report written by Robert Lyman. It summarizes a very interesting report from J.P. Morgan. Now, J.P. Morgan as an investment firm is considered to be one of the more woke firms, if you like. But this analysis is done by Michael Cembalist, and he works with Václav Smil. Václav Smil is a professor emeritus of the University of Manitoba who's written about 40 books on energy. And what the J.P. Morgan report comes up with is completely and diametrically opposed to what the wizards at the International Energy Agency are telling us about how we can achieve our net zero 2050 goals. So I invite you to join me on May the 20th at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm going to be walking through a PowerPoint which is based on Robert Lyman's highlights summary of the J.P. Morgan report. And we'll see just how close we can get to those net zero 2050 goals with uh, some of the plans that people have for us. Will carbon capture and storage really do the trick? How about electric vehicles? Will they be widely adopted by everyone in time for 2050 or even 2030? And what about things like uh, direct air ca carbon capture? Is that a thing? Can that stop climate change? Can that stop global warming? We'll look at all these details when we walk through the PowerPoint of uh, Robert Lyman's highlights report called Speed Bumps on the Road to Decarbonization. So join me this Thursday, May 20th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. We'll be going live stream. And if you miss it, you can always pick up the recorded version later. Thanks very much. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.